Hello everyone and welcome back to Z Designs. So many of you have asked me to recreate this text effect with voiceover. So here I am. So let's start the video. First, let's remove everything from the artboard. And we need a background for this. Let's select our background layer and then select rectangle tool and draw a simple rectangle. After that, we'll fill this rectangle with these two color and I'll use gradient and then use these two color. I'm using eyedropper tool to fill the colors. Here is our simple gradient background. Let's lock this layer. After that, let's select our text effect layer and then start creating our text effect. The font size I'm using is 300 point and the font I'm using for this text effect is Oblix Pro. Let's center this. After that click on this none to remove the fill color and then we'll go to appearance panel. Here click on this icon to add new fill. After that go to gradient panel and select our default black and white gradient. Change the angle to minus 90. After that, select this black point and I'm using eyedropper tool and change the color to this one. Then go again to appearance panel and select this layer and duplicate this. Now select this second layer and change the color to white. Now select this first layer and then go to effect and path and offset path. Here, apply a minus three pixel offset path, then click OK. Again, select this first layer, go to effect, transform and transform. In move values, three pixel and three pixel, then click OK. After that, select this white layer, click on this plus icon to duplicate this. Now select this layer and change the color of this layer to this one. After that, select this layer, go to effect, distort and transform and transform. Here in move values, minus 0.5 pixel and 0.5 pixel. In copies, we need 30 copies. Then click OK. Again, Select this white layer and click on this plus icon to duplicate this. Now drag this to bottom and select this. Then go to effect, distort and transform and transform. Here in move values, minus 18 pixel and 18 pixel. Then click OK. Change the color of this layer to this one we'll use this layer for drop shadow. Select the eyedropper tool and I have changed the color. Again, duplicate this layer and now select this last layer. Let's hide this layer for now and let's select this layer. Now change the color of this layer to this one. Now select the eyedropper tool and I'll change the color. Select this layer, go to effect, path and offset path. Here in offset values, I'll put 20 pixel offset value and change the joints to round and then click OK. Now keep selecting this layer and duplicate this. Select this layer and change the color of this layer to this one. After that, go to effect, distort and transform transform and click on this apply new effect after that in move values in move section minus 5 pixel and 5 pixel for copies we need 30 copies or you can increase to 40 and whatever you want then click ok and 
let's select this layer now and then go to effect stylize and inner glow we'll use a simple yellowish color for inner glow and then click ok opacity to 75 percent blur values to 18 to 15 whatever you want and then click ok let's unhide this layer and select this layer go to effect blur and gaussian blur and in radius you can put 18 pixel then click ok after that select this layer duplicate this and change the color of this layer to black let's remove the inner glow from this layer after that select this layer click on transform let's change the move values to minus 40 and 40 then click ok now select this layer and drag this to bottom now after that go to effect blur and gaussian blur select a 15 pixel gaussian blur then click ok now duplicate this layer now select this last layer click on transform and change the move values then click ok after that click on gaussian blur and change the gaussian blur values to 40 or even 60 you can adjust it wherever you want and then click ok now change the blend mode to multiply and opacity to 40 percent so here is our final text effect look i hope you have learned something from this video if you have learned something from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching